Welcome to RF Gaming, I'm the King and this is Alan Wick Remastered Episode number 4, The Truth So previously we just went through hell Finding the kidnappers Just to find out that Nah, I'm not gonna say what happened In the end of the, the third episode But To me Everything that we went through In the third episode is all just a waste We only learned something about Tam Zain about uh, Divers Isle, about the Cauldron Lake, but that was all in the beginning of the third episode, and those informations were given to us by Barry Wheeler. The rest of the episode was nothing. We ran away from. Ah, if you wanna check out that video, click on the video card on the top right corner of your screen and for those of you guys who are new to my channel please subscribe leave your comments down below hit the like button and this is the truth episode number four Alan Wake remastered let's do this guys previously on Alan Wake I'm haunted by the law Wake's running I'm giving chase are you seriously telling me that writer just took out my deputies a thriller I supposedly wrote is coming true the genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. Those have been kidnapped, but that was a lie. We don't have his wife. We don't know where she is. Her purported kidnapper was eaten up by the dark presence before it attacked me. Alan, shh, baby. It was just a nightmare. Fell, I had to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. I... You went through another rough period. What? Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. The shock of your wife's death triggered a mental illness. No, you're... you lie. You're suffering from various Bastard. symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia. Bastard. It's okay, okay Alan. I felt groggy. Whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't focus. Whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't focus. So here we are. I really couldn't recall what had happened. But the Hartman found us. And then cleared us. Good evening, Alan. Are we feeling better now? Feeling calm? Yeah. I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. I get the message. Loud and clear. Quite right. That's the spirit? You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. This corridor is for patients. Most of them aren't here right now. Jack took them out for a fishing trip. Except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. I bet you do. Splendid, Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control if we work together. This way, Alan. Anderson, these are the ones at the... Um, at the diner, right? The coconut song.
Now, Alan, from past experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. So I'm just going to say this. Alice is dead. No. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. Alice drowned. And you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations, paranoid delusions, unusual thinking, an obsession about light and darkness, a feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. Your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. Really? Go this way, Alan. I wasn't Alice is dead? Shot, so I went along with it. He had to be lying. But under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. It's all in your head. You've been making it up. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? You're a skeptic by nature, Alan. We both know this. Everything can be explained logically. Alice is dead? I said it couldn't take that I don't know how do you explain all the things that has been happening uh, yeah I know sometimes it's a dream maybe this view. very inspiring isn't it cauldron lake spread below us I could see Mira peak on the other side of the lake I thought I could make out the spot where divers isle had been when I arrived with Alice now there was nothing but waves it seems there's a storm coming. Funny, I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. Well, no matter. This way, follow me. Alan, what I'm telling you is good news. Right now we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well? It's very natural for you to think of me as your enemy. It's part of the I let him talk. Hartman obviously loved his own voice. His words, words echoed madly inside my head. But I, I dug my nails into the myself. palms of my hands to stay focused. You need to work with me. Once you accept that, we can begin the journey towards your recovery. Come along. Let's go inside. Why does it lock all the door? Uh, here's the entrance to the office wing. That's for staff only. You were impressed by my trophies when you first arrived here. I do love to hunt. The great outdoors, man versus nature. It's wonderful stuff. Pretty damn wonderful, yeah. Scary, scary, scary. <laughs> Emerson. I'm a real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, Emerson. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ew. That's Emerson. We're actually making some progress with him, I'm happy to say. He works on... Video games. Ooh, yeah. It's trash, of yeah. course, but yeah. it does involve some small yeah. creative effort, which makes him receptive to my therapeutic methods. No kidding. Oh, 
how much longer of this introduction do we have to go through? Now, you might have noticed the typewriter in your room. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. As soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. Be patient. It's telling us to be patient. Okay, if Alice is dead, where's the body? Did they find the body? My rheumatism's killing me. There's a storm coming. Oh, what a storm. I hope it wipes this place off the face of the earth. And these two are the Anderson brothers, Odin and Tor. They had a... How should I put this... A heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. They're well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. Said it. I'm so sorry to cut this short. For now, Alan, the power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. Oh, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah! Being ah. crazy is a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. <laughs> <laughs> Say, you're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson farm. Valhalla! We wrote it all down, lest we need to forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. My head was clearing up, or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. Tom, you got any booze on you? Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> we have guys. a stash of the special stuff at the farm. Our own formula. Local ingredients. Medicine clears your head right up. Makes you remember like moonbeams on the brain. Oh, I just noticed leather patches on the elbows. That's not very rock and roll. Tom just lost is all. Baba Yaga got to him too, the damn witch. She used us all, taken from all of us. Took my thunder, the witch. And my ravens, what was it? I am I just gonna sit here listening to the rambling? I don't think so. So where is my room? Patient rooms, okay. So the question is right now, where is? Alice's body. I can only focus on writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in this cabin. Have been for days, but it's always dark outside. Hartman had mentioned that the power had been acting up. Maybe that was the reason for the generator and the work light on the balcony. The generator hadn't been activated, and there was no key. There's a hole in her chest where her heart should be. I think I've made a horrible mistake. Zane could feel the poems taking form, 
shaping things as he experimented. Get the story at once. If the story will come true. Hey, Wake, why don't you humor Dr. Hartman and give the writing a shot, huh? Typewriter's in your room. Who said that? Okay, then. The white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Hey, Wake, you stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. What am I? My script page is doing up. Oh dear. Oh, Sinclair looked bad. That wasn't a love tap. The crazy old fart hit her hard. If she was one of Hartman's goons, she had it coming. I could get the, the key to the office. All yours, I had to get to Hartman's office. Destiny. He had taken all my manuscript pages. That's where he'd be keeping them. Come out and face the music, Birch. It's time to Hartman's play. office. Where is it? Hartman's office. It's right next door. You okay? These were all the pages I had already. And more. Alan, please. You're sliding back Shh, into the... Tell me one more lie and I'll shoot you in the face. Ah, well. A shot. Really, Wake. Come on. Let's work together on this. You have no idea. Hartman, what... shut up. Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just go. Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful with your ability and mine. Not this again. Can we get the light? Huh? Yes, I'm gonna try to go upstairs. Oh, remember that thing? Yeah, this thing. Gotta be it. To do this again, I guess.
I guess it's clear now. Let's, let's get down. I really, 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 really hope this is a shit. This ain't gonna be as long as the previous video. Suddenly we have a revolver. Suddenly, just suddenly. Oh no. I was wrong to use the flare. This is where you should be using the flare. Yep. That would only give me one. Can I get in this room? No. Another man. Oh, what's that? Most of the what's that TV again? You know, you can move. Oh, what the fuck is this thing, man? If I think so, it's gonna be some supplies here, batteries, flare. What about ammunition? No. Proceed through the garden. Yep. It's lovely. It's a maze, man. Oh, I hate this. Well, we're gonna die so many times in this maze. What the fuck, man? Okay. 
We are done with that. Let's proceed either on to the is it to the left or to the right. This way I guess. What? Okay. Thank God. We got a manuscript. What do they have for me, man? I don't know where we're going. We don't know what we need to do. No, it's this. Kill it yourself. Oh no. no. now except with the birds we need to do with the birds are they done or are they gonna keep on oh I saw something yep and there's a lot of them do I need to deal with them now? do I need to kill them? Uh, let's just leave gonna be as crazy as before the one where we died so many times oh I thought there's some manuscript pages there okay there's nothing here ah screw it I'm not gonna do any more collecting last time it only took us two hours I don't want to make such a long episode like that. I would like if they. I would prefer if they make it in two parts. Hey. Well, where did you come from? Oh, how many of you? Oh, I forgot I have this. Where's the back? Ready for all of that? And now they're going to attack me.
Let's get out of here. Oh. Oh. And yes, and that I put best things that need a lot of a lot of shining to do. Gotta shine the light. Hmm. Where is Barry? Hey, there are so many of you. Pick it up guys, if you are enjoying this game, this video, my channel, uh, please subscribe, hit the like button, leave your comments down below, tell me what you think, because I really don't know what's going on, I really don't know what is the fantasy, what is the truth, what is the dream, what is the nightmare right now, but I really do hope Alice is not dead. Because then, is, is it Barry? Why is he just waiting outside there? Let's get out of here. Can you open this gate? Maybe. Barry. Not. Well, I slammed it shut when the nasty showed up, and the key fits kind of loose in the lock, so. Of course. Hey, hey, where did you come from, huh? Guys, 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 you're gonna die, you're gonna die. You're gonna die, you're gonna die. You're gonna die, you're gonna die. Motherfucker. Now I'm beginning to hate this game. I'm so fucking pissed off.
Okay, the door is open now. Oh shit. Al, please tell me we're headed for the nearest. You're now leaving Bright Falls. Come back soon, sign. We're going to the Anderson farm. I knew you were gonna say something like that. You know what? You owe me big time for this. When this is through, if we make it, I don't care what anybody says, I'm done with darkness. You're gonna buy me a tanning bed as a gift, and I'm gonna live in it. stuff like this it helps this is happening Barry Alice they never had Alice she's trapped in the darkness at the bottom of the lake but she's not dead Al how can you know that I know Barry I can Al I know listen I can bring her back I can find her there's something special about this place the lake it it does something to the works of art created here it makes them come true but there's a catch the dark presence whatever that thing is twists it to its own ends that's why all of this is happening. It's using my manuscript to take over everything. Al, I believe you. It happened to Thomas Zane before. It happened to the Andersons. I believe you. Crazy or not, you're not delusional. Weird shit's going down. That's a fact. I'm on board, man. I'm with you. The Andersons knew about it, but they were too far gone to tell me with all the drugs they were on. But they wrote it down. There's a message somewhere at their farm, Barry. We just need to find it. Look out! <laughs> my gun in the crash. Barry was nowhere to be seen. Find Barry. Now I guess Barry! Barry! that was the first part of this oh, episode. Man, you're okay! Jeez, it's good to hear your voice! I was trying to get out of the car, but the ground gave way! <laughs> what a drop! Don't worry, your cutout is fine. Forget that. Are you okay? I hit some bushes, didn't get a scratch. There's no way you can climb down, though. It's like a sheer wall. Ah, help! There's something moving down here! Barry, it's a take it! Shoot the flare, Barry! Oh, yeah! Barry, are you alright? <laughs> I'm good, Al. I'm great! Guess you never messed with anyone from New York City before, huh? I'm gonna find my way around to the farm, Al. I'll be waiting. Barry, just wait for me, okay? Al, I'm not staying here. It's suicide. I'm going to the farm. I'm gonna go ahead and secure the area. You can catch up. Don't worry about it. I'm on the case. Now he's Rambo. This would turn into a disaster if I didn't catch up with Barry. All right. Like I said, that was the first part of the episode because they have that long cut scene. I really hope. Oh uh, no! Come on, we don't have anything. What's that? There's a light. You need a light. Yeah. 
We don't have anything. The light is dying. Let me turn it back on. Okay. Now we're gonna go. I think there's the pages. Manuscript pages down there. And of course I was right. So. We don't have any guns, flares, ammunition. But we saw some. Something blinking. Oh shit. Oh no. Stop it, man. It's not fair, I don't have anything. Am I just gonna die here like this? What the hell, man? Why are you so weak? You can't even run. Fucking hit this. It's so helpless, useless. We don't have any guns. No flashlight. No ammo. No flares. And he's tired from rocking, from running. Okay, another manuscript. I'll read the light. Okay, we got a light now. Obviously, don't have any ammo. What's this? All right, it's good now. I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. Oh, we have no batteries, guys. What is this? Trust no one in the dark. Oh, I never trusted anyone in, in this game. Except for Barry, I guess. But he's a tool. Doesn't know anything. He can't do anything. So... I'm guessing... Yep, no, nothing. Gotta proceed to get ourselves killed. Where are they? Of course. Of course. gonna die what the fuck man how do we do this I could sense the movement in the woods ahead 
Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. Oh, damn right it's dangerous. Hell with them, let's start this thing. This game's so stupid, man. He can't even dis defend himself, can't even fight. same general direction as I was. For all I knew it was Barry, caught in the consequences of leaping before looking. Suddenly we have two berries. And okay. This is heavy duty. We've had all of that in the previous episodes. But uh, those items, like I said, it does not get carried away. Can we carry it forward to the next episode? They find new places, new weapons every time we start a new episode. The car was heading for the cabin up ahead. It wasn't far. If it was Barry, I would see the damage soon. Okay. seen it in my dream. It was a strange spaceman or a diver in a bulky suit. He was the one who'd been placing the pages on my path. Oh, this is dangerous, man. Because the bear trap is lit up just like the manuscript pages. I know the last Sam Hey. Oh no. <laughs> Where do we go? The last time. Oh shit. I got confused. I thought it was a page. So I went through it. Turns out it was a bad trap and we got stuck. Oh not stuck. We got hurt. Checkpoint. Someone had left a gun behind. Now I had a fighting chance of reaching the farm. Okay, that's all we have now. Yes, we gotta go. I really don't want to run if I don't have to because it's got tired so easily maybe I will run like this oh 
there's so many of them. See that? Guys, we only have one more ammo. Heaven, save heaven. Oh. Gotta wait for the flashlight to fill up. Okay. We can proceed, I guess. I could see the car, but there was no sight of the driver. To get inside. Try to find some Hello? supplies. Anybody here? Ah! Barry! Okay, now we're gonna have to investigate what that noise is all about. I hate this. It's so dark in here. I don't have any lights. What's wrong with you, man? I know you. You were in jail the other day. I went to the farm again. For the moonshine, you know, it, it makes you see. They're, you're not gonna miss it. They're in the loony bin. But my buddy, Danny, I lost him. Something's gone wrong with him. It's not him. Like a real bad follow-up to a real good movie. The best friends. Something bad guy who, who wrote this crap anyway. Okay. So, what do we do now? Is that all? <laughs> I thought we have to go out through the through the window. I've run through every possible course in my head. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story, but it's going to kill her and me and everybody in this town. No one will survive. Darkness will consume everything. This is what it's wanted all along. It will be free, unstoppable. It used Alice to get to me, dangle her in front of me. It was never going to release her. I'm going to change this. I'll escape. Me. I think we have investigated. Oh, I just want me to deal with this thing, right? Let me guess. Danny, huh? Of course, it's Danny.
is there any more ammunition that we can use, we can collect? What about here? <laughs> this is the toilet, right? Ah, fuck it, man, let's go. Let's leave this place. If Barry wasn't up here, he was probably in trouble down at the farm. For a moment, I felt bad for doubting him. After all, I'd made it this far myself. But Barry was Barry. Well, where are we going? Driving on this thing reminds me of a Grand Theft Auto. San Andreas, uh, actually all of them. Grand Theft Auto, Vice City. And I heard Grand Theft Auto Definitive Edition will release later this year. At the end of this year, I think. So, for people like me who haven't got a chance to play it before, now we can. Wait. I thought we were supposed to go to the light, but them. Um, I guess we gotta follow the road. What are we doing? I guess, I guess, you gotta shine the light on them and drive them too. You know? Where are they? You can't drive the car anymore. So, okay, I think I found a way in to the farm. Oh, perfect, Logan. I got it. Okay. Checkpoint reached. Let's go. At some points, I think this is like, uh, where is this going, man? This is going nowhere, you know? They're just making it. To me, it's like such a nonsense, you know. I uh, keep, you better keep it storyline. I'd known the brothers used to be some kind of rock stars, but it hadn't really sunk in until I saw the stage. Ow! Run! They're coming! They're 
So glad you decided to go it alone, Mr. Bronson. Shut up and shoot. Ow! Oh, no. We have to fight him off. I can set off four of the fireworks from here and help you out. Hey, Al, did you notice there's a lot of ammo and stuff around? This place is stopped. Al, hold on. I'll try to get the stage lights on. Stupid idiot guys, I hate this. I'm so glad you decided to go it alone, Mr. Bronson. Shut up and shoot. Ow! We have to fight him off! I can set off more of the fireworks from here and help you out! Hey, Al! Did you notice there's a lot of ammo around? This place is stopped! Al, hold on! I'll try to get the stage lights on! There's got to be something over here. Shotgun. Pure bomb action shotgun. Palm action shotgun. It's a palm action shotgun. There was something in here. You don't have anything. Are we done?
Bright Falls, rock and roll capital of America. Hey, Al! This way to the farm! We don't have any ammo, so it doesn't matter. Let's go. Leave this place. It's better to have Barry, but Barry is useless, you know. I really hope the other character have weapons and ammunition as well so that they can assist us whenever we face See, best seller, no reason to worry. Your cutouts the enemies right where I left it. I'll come back for it once we have the place secured. Yeah, that's been my biggest worry all this time. We need to get this thing moved out of the way. This is as far as I got where they ambushed me. Mm -hmm. okay. Let me see how do we move this thing. Gotta be something that we can use. We gotta climb, I guess. Side guys. Please let there be something. Okay. Good, 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 good. Okay. We got maximum batteries for the flashlight. We got maximum ammo for the revolver. And we found a coffee thermos. And we don't know where to go. Hey, wait. What's that? I thought I saw something. Yes, I was wrong. Mm. Oh, let's get up. Guys, if you're enjoying this or if you're, if you're hating this, let me know in the comment section down below. If you're new here, please subscribe. I'm gonna try to finish up all this game one video for one episode the boat looked imposing almost like a battering ram because oh you just gonna ram the door I guess so Uh, hit the sound. That is the sound of the Taken. The Taken is coming. Oh, the Taken is here. I hit it. I told you. I told you. They're coming in. We had to. Come on, how many more? How many more of you? It's going to attack me like that. Please tell me. Oh, nothing. Just lights. Right? 
it's gone. Oh, it's got to be the the big bus, right? It's hiding. I just gotta let them come to you. Is it dead? I guess so. Hey, where is Barry? Bear. Where are you, Bear? Oh shit. What the hell? This is so stupid, guys. As soon as we came here, Guess we're good now. Okay. Well, look at that. No ammo. You got only sixteen. Uh, it's just way, 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 way not enough for us. Let's move in. There to be ammo inside here. What are we looking at? Wow, those geezers had quite a production going on. Oh, you know what, Al? If we make it through this alive, I'm gonna start representing them. Yep, sell this stuff online, maybe get a reality show going, release a new single. Good luck with that, pal. Hey, you find us a way out of here, okay? I'm gonna take a closer look at this stuff. Wait, how do I do this? Guys, how do I do this? I don't get it. Oh. Need to kick the door to get upstairs. Be careful, Al. Shotgun ammo. Shotgun ammo. Nothing here? Open the silo door for Barry. How to open it? Huh? Huh? Uh oh. How to continue? Okay. Okay. I guess it's just more of them coming up soon.
pick up heavy duty lantern. Turn on radio. As you regular listeners know, I tend to work through the night. I'm not the only one. How long? How, how high up is this thing? How high up is this place? There was something out there. The elevator was dead. I'd have to get some power to it first. Okay. It's running now. How do I open up the saddle door for Barry? I can't open this door. I guess we gotta do this. There's no more of them here. Hey guys, how do we open up the silo door for Barry? Barry is way over there, right? Can we open up this gate? Of course not. Figuring out what to do. Oh, how convenient. You get the key. through here? Nope. And can we climb this thing? 
Oh no, okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry, bear. I'm coming. Okay, let's go to the Anderson house. We should feel right at home then. One hala. Come on, one more gig. Let's go. Okay, guys, if you wanted me um, to play the Assassin's Creed Valhalla game, let me know in the comment section down below. I do have it, I haven't played it yet. Because there's so many games. For the past five six years, I've played PlayStation 4. I bought it back in 2015. I think so. In six years, I have played about I don't know 50 plus games. And then, but I do have a lot of games, 100 plus, from the PlayStation Plus monthly subscription. You got free games. The power downstairs was out. But I was sure I every month so um I'm gonna try to play every single mm -hmm. one of them all those games they have played before I'm gonna play it again upload it here and all those new games so it's gonna be a while for me to com to complete my channel with all the games that I played. Imagine if I played one game in one week, 50 games it would take me about a year, man. What's this on the table? Nothing here. Find the fuse box. Where's the fuse box? Can you go inside this room? Yep. Come on, Al. Let's get the lights on, huh? Hold on. It's the fuse box on the set upstairs. Beach. We're going to the room. But you don't know what you might find. I uh, told you. Fix the record. What record? We need to find where it's coming from. That's the message the Andersons talk about. That's the whole reason we're here. Okay. What does it say here? Ah, uh, old gods. Cynthia no. The truth. Okay. Where is it? This is the drums. I don't see anything. This is the kitchen. Oh, this is the one. Cynthia Weaver. We'll stay here for the night and head back to town as soon as it gets light. Hey Al, lots of hours before dawn. Might as well get some rest. And by rest, I mean drunk. Come on, Barry, this is... Yeah, what the hell. I'm gonna stick by you, no matter what, ever, Al. Sure, like a brother. I'm a writer, goddammit. Correct. 
If I just wanted to, I could write 10 books a year. And, and they'd be the best books that year. No, you couldn't. That's right, I couldn't. But I could, because I'm a writer. What? What do they put in this stuff? I feel like my brain's coming out of my nose. <laughs> I'm gonna get the recipe off of those coots and be a, a, a booze millionaire. I just miss her, Barry. I just want her here with me. I know. I know. But it's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it okay. Alright, now, wait. Alex, I'm wait. coming. It's alright. I'm coming. It was a crazy drunken dream, and yet it was more than that. It was the truth. A suppressed memory unearthed by the Andersons' moonshine. I was there, an out of body observer. This was the night Alice and I had arrived at Bright Falls, the night Alice had disappeared. I had a chance to find out what had happened. I remembered being surprised to see the cabin dark. Alice would have never turned the lights off. Alice? Alice! Oh, this is crazy, man. I remembered thinking I caught a glimpse of her form underwater, sinking into the darkness. <sighs> Diving after her was the last vague memory I had of that night. After that, the next thing I could remember was waking up behind the wheel of the crash car and finding the first pages of the manuscript. <sighs> I couldn't find her in all that blackness. I must have thought she drowned. Okay. I don't remember this. Alice. Jagger had Alice, Alice. and so she had me. What happened now? I'd been easy prey. Look at the cabin. Is there someone in the window? Alice? Someone in the window? Maybe she's inside. Alice! Yes. The dark presence had touched me. She had dug her nails into my brain and used me. Made me her puppet. Go back to the cabin, okay? I thought you were supposed. She must be here somewhere. Maybe upstairs in the study. Alice! Yes, that's where she is. You can apologize. Alice! You I don't remember this. It's probably what really happened. Right? Alice! She's <laughs> not here. You were foolish to think so. No, she's dead. She drowned. What? No, no, no! It's your fault your wife is dead. You are guilty. All she wanted was to help you write. You killed ah! her. Oh, hush. There's still hope. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Here, you have the power to change things. She wanted you to write. I will tell you what to do. You can write her back. The story will come true, and all will be well again. She had Alice, and the manuscript was the ransom for her. So, what do we do?
Yes. All right. I'll fix it. I'll bring her back. No. I wrote it. I remembered it all now. In the dark, I'd written for days, a week, almost a complete manuscript of a novel entitled Departure. Jagger had been my editor, whispering in my ear, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. I thought I was saving Alice. Even with the cobweb she put in my head, some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story, to bring a light into the cabin to release me before I could finish, to interrupt the horror story before the ending, where darkness consumed everything and everyone. Zane was weak and far away, but I had written him into the story, and his light had been enough to set me free. It isn't here now. I'm here because it was written. I brought the light to set you free. You must hurry, or know I'm here. It will be back soon. It stole the skin of my heart a long time ago. She looks so old. up, confused and groggy, my mind consumed by darkness and fear. All I could do was to escape. The week spent in the cabin had taken its toll. I was barely conscious and fading fast. had to have cost Zane terribly, thrown him even deeper into whatever dark place he now haunted. But he had managed to weaken the dark presence, kept me safe that night. That's right, James Joyce. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it.